Since the beginning of this YouTube channel, I have gotten this question so many times. That's, hey Matt, can you make a video on the tattoo policy of the Army? And I usually just reply back, you know, from your wrist down and your neck up, that's not allowed. That's the Army's tattoo policy. And that's true, but in this video, I want to actually go into a little bit of the details and actually have a dedicated video finally about this. <laughs> So if you're not feeling like watching this video and you want to read it on your own, you can look up this regulation, which is AR 670-1, which is like the uniform wear and appearance, uh, paragraph 3-3, so AR 670-1, 3-3. You can look up all the stuff there, so that's got all the information on what is allowed and then everything also including, you know, what commanders and stuff can do and that they're supposed to regularly check soldiers and all that stuff. So that's got literally everything you need to know. But as far as like what is allowed, the general idea of having no tattoos from your wrist down and from your neck up, and the regulation for that is your t-shirt line. So if I'm wearing a t-shirt like this right here, everything from this t-shirt line up is prohibited and everything from the wrist bone, so your wrist bone, everything down from that uh, is prohibited except for one tattooed ring finger per hand. Basically what that means is some people decide to get a tattoo of a ring on their finger instead of getting an actual ring. So if that's the case for you, that tattoo is going to be okay. Now I do want to mention a few other things that are definitely prohibited before I get to what I really want to speak on for this topic. It's probably going to take a minute for me to talk on it, but what is prohibited? Extremist tattoos, indecent tattoos, sexist tattoos, and racist tattoos. So basically, if you have something that can be construed to be put into one of those categories as basically just really offensive, and you have it anywhere on your body, that is a no-go. Like, you can't have any like super sexist or like racist, you know, swastikas, Nazi stuff, you know, tattooed all of your body for the army. Like, that's, that's not going to be okay. So if you do have tattoos, all over the rest of your body. Like you can be coated in tattoos as long as it's not from your wrist bone down with the exception of a ring finger and from the neck up, you're gonna be good to go. So now you know the Army's regulation on the tattoo policy and you might be thinking to yourself, crap, I've got some tattoos on my hands. I maybe have a tattoo behind my ear. Maybe I've got a tattoo on my lip or something like that. You know, and also I do wanna include, you know, tattoos in your eyelids and on your lips and anything like that in your mouth they're gonna be prohibited as well because that's from the neck up. But if you happen to be one of those people, one of those individuals that have a tattoo that might not be okay, maybe you have a tattoo where you have a whole entire sleeve and it goes down just past your wrist bone. That's been something that somebody's asked me before. Maybe you have something, you know, on your hand, just a little small thing. Maybe you're, you know, a female and you have like a heart behind your ear or something like that. That is technically prohibited, but you still need to go and talk to a recruiter. You still, in my opinion, should try and get a waiver for that because it is possible to get a waiver for certain tattoos. But also, if it's not possible for you and you do have a small tattoo maybe on your hand, maybe on your head or whatever, on your neck, if you can get that tattoo removed, you can get that tattoo removed and then you can try and join the military again if that happens to be a dead end for you trying to get a waiver. Now, it is possible. I have seen literally well, just, I think, two months ago, I saw a guy with tattoos all on his hand, just on both hands, tattoos on his hands, on his fingers, all the way up on his neck and then on the side of his face. Now, uh, I'm assuming that this guy probably joined maybe back shortly after 9-11. He was a staff sergeant, so somewhere, I don't know, I'm guessing he joined early 2000s or so and he had tattoos everywhere. So it is possible, and you may see soldiers every now and then that have a, a tattoo on their hand or that have a tattoo on their neck or their face or something like that. Uh, but it's not going to be anything crazy offensive. It's probably gonna be something small. This guy, his hand was crazy tatted up. That was the most extreme thing I've ever seen. But he had something on his neck and I think the side of his face a little bit. But the reason I'm letting you guys know that is if you do happen to have one of those tattoos that might not be okay, you still should go through the process of trying to join. There's a lot of people who will ask me certain questions. Maybe it's a you know medical question or something like that. Whether I say you can or can't join with that issue is irrelevant. You know, if I tell you, no, you can't join, but you actually can, like it is up to you. Like you should still go and talk to a recruiter. You should still actually go and try and get a waiver for that. So don't, I'm not the end all be all decision on whether or not you can join just because you got a tattoo behind your ear. So you still wanna go and try to solve all those issues and everything. 
So that's it for this video. It was a quick one, but I finally put it up. You know, I've literally just been replying so many times below your hand, above your neck, all that kind of stuff. I have said that so many times in the comment section. And I've got one yesterday and I was like, all right, I'm finally gonna make a video. So if this video helped you out, maybe you, maybe it motivated you to actually go and talk to a recruiter because you were discouraged because you have a tattoo that might disqualify you. I hope that helped you out. I hope that motivated you a little bit. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. That would be awesome. If you wanna stick around some more videos, hit the subscribe button. That would be even better. And my Instagram and Snapchat are right here. If you're not following me, you should probably think about doing that and hitting the notification bell button. If you're not subscribed, you can subscribe, then hit the notification bell button because YouTube is just crazy, I guess, now. You subscribe and videos don't show up. So I guess you gotta hit the bell button. So if you wanna do that, that would be freaking awesome. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you later. Drop.